from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. You will definitely need a jacket as you step out the door this morning. Greg D will time out your weather forecast for you coming up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. We start Democracy 2018 today. Both men running to be our next governor will be in the Tampa Bay area. Both campaigns ramping up efforts to encourage people to vote next Tuesday. Andrew Gillum scheduled to be in Newport Ritchie at 10 o'clock and Ron DeSantis will join supporters in Tampa around 11 a.m. One month after the murder of an elderly Clearwater couple, their family is now hoping a new reward will convince people to come forward with tips. David and Mina Swan's family now offering a $25,000 reward for information on the double homicide. Crime Stoppers was already offering 3,000, brings the total now to $28,000. Someone shot this couple in their Flushing Avenue home last month. Some big shakeups over at Raymond James Stadium. The Bucks have announced that Ryan Fitzpatrick will be the starting quarterback for Sunday's game against the Carolina Panthers. This comes after Jameis Winston threw four interceptions, including this one that was returned for a touchdown and was benched in the Bucks' loss to the Cincinnati Bengals this past weekend. Fitzmagic really took the Bay Area by storm early in the season when the Bucks jumped out to a 2-0 start, and he nearly brought him back last week. Well, following last month's announcement of new iPhones and Apple Watches, Apple is expected to unveil more gadgets today at an event in New York City. Keep an eye out for new iPads, a new MacBook, and maybe even AirPower, the wireless charging pad that Apple announced over a year ago. For more on that and your weather, here's Greg D. <laughs> I'll be watching that. Uh, you can stream the announcement live at 10 o'clock this morning from New York City. As we start off the day here, temperatures in the 60s, very comfortable, low humidity, and another perfect afternoon. Florida's at its best in October and early November when temperatures are still warm in the afternoons. The morning's comfortable, and look at all that sunshine. Humidity, not an issue today. You can check out the latest cold front, and when that arrives, by looking at the seven-day forecast at abcactionnews.com. James. Greg DR, resident tech guru here at ABC Action News. You can get all of your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great day. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.